Hey, what's up guys? It's Alpine. Haven't really made any videos recently. It's been quite some time. Did some rentals on the house. And just had a baby, so having time to do any cabs have been few and far between, but we're jumping back on the horse. And I'm going to show you a few builds, but uh, but first I want to talk a little about my uh, Geometry Wars cab. I posted a video up a few, I think it was about a year ago and had a lot of questions. So hopefully we'll have some answers. Uh, jump, well, first off, this cab didn't quite survive the, uh, the move. So we're just repainting it. We're doing it all again, making it look fresh. Got beat up a little bit. Someone asked me uh, regarding the actual type of cab it was. I'm not quite sure. It wasn't a build from scratch. I purchased this, purchased it off a, a buddy of mine who was kind of beat up, but we fixed it, got it going. If anyone could tell me what type of cab this was, please let me know. If you're really interested. I really want to address a few questions that some people had regarding my uh, my joystick layout. This was my old one. As you can see there, and this is my new setup. So the old setup, sorry, that's bottle opener, <laughs> was on a, uh, a micro switch joystick setup. So uh, when you wanted to move the ship and shoot the ship, you would hit these joysticks. Now anyone that plays Geometry Wars knows that you need full 360. Now this was pretty good for a little while, but it was really tough to get into those corners uh, to shoot and move. So we found a solution for that. And we went with the HAP analog joystick, which is here. If that's coming in clear. Now it's gonna be a dual HAP analog joystick. I still have yet to put the other one in there. And the pots and the buttons are all wired up to this little guy right here. I believe it's a Cade PCB. And it just uh, converts the movement of the pots into digital. So that way the computer recognizes it as, I guess you would say, as a joystick. So... These buttons right here, like this one's for the foot pedal for the bomb. And this one right here, that one's for start. I believe this one's for exit. Or player one. So the good thing about analog, if anyone that's played Geometry Wars, is that we get that full smooth 360. We're not hitting the micro switches. We're getting that nice, consistent 360 movement. And hopefully that should help with the gameplay. Should allow it to be a whole lot smoother. And uh, feel a little bit righter, I guess. But it wasn't too bad. You know what? The eight-way, like, it wasn't too bad. But if it wasn't for those corners, because a lot of times the enemies would get into the corners, I couldn't get to them on time. But uh, we did some testing. And the HAP analog is, uh, is going to be the ticket. So uh, hopefully I'll have a video for you. Once this is all put back together, I'll show you the gameplay, how smooth it is. And uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. And we'll try and address them. All right. A little nameplate. Geometry Wars. All right, guys. Really appreciate it. Take care.